So I'm sitting in this hospital, just knowing I'm about to get this gallstone taken out, but they're not going to do it. I've been throwing up. I threw up about three times. My stomach hurt. My back hurt. And it's not as bad as it could get, but I wanted to take care of it before it got bad. But fortunately, they're not going to do it. So I'm sitting here thinking I'm cute. Just to give you a little idea what I ate the night before, I believe this is why my gallstone started acting up a little bit. And even though it didn't go fully disrespectful, but it was still disrespectful. Because that day, the only thing I had was a turkey sandwich with avocado. So I'm assuming it has to be this, right? It has to be this leftover pulled pork that I put it, made a burrito in it, a burrito with by the way, it was absolutely good. <laughs> Fresh pickle de gallo, peppers, refried beans and cheese. So I'm assuming this is this is what got me in the hospital. Anyway, back to the story. Hello. So this has to be it. Nice with the fake but let me show you what I'm eating now. What's up, my beautiful people? Day after I came back from the hospital, they didn't admit me. They didn't take out my gallstone. I'm scared. I'm starving, but I'm scared to eat because I don't want this thing acting up because I went when I had my daughter here. She could babysit. I could get my, you know, my surgery done, but they didn't do it. Tell me I need to make an appointment because everything is good with my blood. Um, my gallstone, I guess, is not active. Um so, you know, every, everything came out normal. My gallstones is there. I got more gallstones now. But at that time, they were busy. They had four other people waiting for the ambulance. They had a, a, air, a helicopter um, on the ceiling. It was just busy. And I guess my surgery wasn't important enough to get when it was convenient for me. So, I'm scared to eat. So I made some baked chicken and rice and some bro broccoli. So hopefully this is gonna be good. I'm not eating no spicy, no nothing. Hopefully get that get that juice away from my table so I go come sit down and eat. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just showing you what I'm eating today. Hopefully I'm fine after this because I ain't got time for this. <laughs> I, I had a whole, I had my palettes already out, what I was going to do, my makeup look, and then I started hurting. So I said, yes, fish, Sparkle. So I said, let me play some dominoes with my kids, and then it really started hurting. So anyway, let me stop blabbing. I'll talk to you guys later. I don't know if I told you guys this. This is Whitey. But I'm not a fan of baked fish. It's okay. I like sauteed black and fish. It's okay, but I love fried fish. I can eat baked chicken. Sauteed chicken. I don't have to have my chicken fried at all. Chicken is good. Boiled, sauteed, anything fried. But fish, I mainly just fry fish in case it's salmon. So I gotta, guess I got to buy me some salmon because this baked whitey is pretty good. But it ain't nothing like that crisp, that crunch, that fried, that hot sauce. You know. But anyway, let me get back off here. So I'm not complaining about the fish. Golden tearing it up though. But anyway. <laughs> what you say? My mom is trying to trick me. It's at me. No. Why I'm trying to trick you? Because yeah. the pulling, I watched the chicken video, and then the chicken, and then when someone pulled a juice out or a balloon or a cake or a cupcake, the bag it tricked. I'm tricking you. I gave you a piece of fish. I trick you. Oh uh, no. Because it's not fried. Mommy. It's not the way you look fish. It's because I fry it. We have healthier fish. Mommy. No, I want the way you look fish. Oh, okay. Lord. Mommy. So, Sparkle just wouldn't eat, y'all. Mommy. And she don't care. She don't care if I don't give no juice, no snacks. She's not eating it. Golden ate all the fish. She don't want the rice. She don't want the vegetables. I got to start feeding these kids healthier because I shouldn't no. have to smother no. the vegetables with cheese for them to eat it. Like, I'm done playing with these people. They only eat greens or the string beans. All the other vegetables got to have cheese on it. Yeah, he ain't eating that. 
He ate all the fish, and he ate his sister's fish. Give me that. Stop. Let me see you eat it. <laughs> ah! 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 Sparkle, your nose is running. Go blow your nose and get ready for bed. Alright, good night. I'm watching Extra Fluffy's video about these food stamps, y'all. Let me just give you my opinion on the food stamp situation. I understand you need to cut down. You know, we are spending a lot of money on food stamps and lick and everything else. And I do benefit from it. So, you know, I worked all my life for just a couple of years. I've been going through something, so I need some help. So, But I do understand what they're saying. Hold on. The only thing I can say about this, you want to cut it off, drug tests. Drug tests. <laughs> Half these people is not going to qualify once they get drug tests. I got to hurry up with my two cents because these kids is on my nerves. I got to put them to bed. I see people tweaking in the county office. Why are we giving them anything? They're too, they can't even be still. Like they're not finna feed their family with that. They're not. They finna go feed the dope man with that. And just like we go and apply for a job and we gotta apply for when we apply for a job, we gotta, you know, take a drug test. We need to do that when we apply for welfare or any kind of assistance. We need the drug test. If you're on crystal meth and all that, you're probably not gonna be spending this money on what you need to spend on. I'm just saying, that's just my opinion. Um and I know a lot of people is going to hate me for this, but they need to cut back on WIC. The good way to cut back on WIC is give some, give these women a, electric, a good quality electric breast pump. I know I ain't finna breastfeed. I don't want to mess with my titties. That's going to spend too much of my day breastfeeding. I get it. But if you cannot afford your own milk and you need help from the government, you might want to break out that titty. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I know you're going to hate me for that. I love you too. But if you can afford to buy your milk, buy your milk. You ain't got to breastfeed. But if you really can't afford to buy your milk, you might want to bust them breast milk out. That them titties out. Because you know why? They about to get rid of all this stuff anyway. So get used to putting out that titty and feed them kids. Let me get up off this phone. Deuces. Anyway, you guys. I don't feel good. My stomach hurt. I'm getting a, head, a headache. I send my son to the store to get this medication. He didn't hit a corner. <laughs> he didn't hit a corner or because he's not back. And um, I need this medication because I can't concentrate. This head, my head is hurting, my stomach, my back hurt. This stuff got to go. It's not as bad as it gets, so I'm, I'm glad for that. But I just want to tell y'all I'll be back. So my videos is going to be a little not non-existing, but um, not as frequent because I I just, I just got to relax. <laughs> Until next time, deuces and stay blessed, my beautiful people.